Bayani as hero is not a word you're going to find in the Spanish Tagalog dictionaries before the 20th century. The notation you're going to find is a warrior, a dagger, also a leader, but you're not going to find hero. All peoples want a hero. It comes from a generation that had need for heroes. Rizal was one of the few ophthalmic surgeons in the entire of Southeast Asia. This explains why Josephine Bracken's stepfather went all the way from Hong Kong to the Pitan to have his eyes cured. Rizal knew his place in history and knew that he was important in the way that the Philippines would develop and he was willing to give up his life for that. Some of the Filipinos were spending their time gambling, and others were going around with women, and Rizal felt the, the compulsion to tell people, what are we here in Spain for? We're here to save the country. He was linked to a revolution which he, in fact, did not approve of. That's the irony of the whole situation. Asking Filipinos to lay down their arms and to go home, assuring them that he was not behind the revolution. When you think about it, if Rizal sacrifices himself, that's fine. But to see a ruthless side of Rizal, someone who was willing to sacrifice even his own family, uh, is a side of him we don't really see. In the 21st century, people want to have more human heroes. The secret to Rizal's greatness is actually his being human. He was revered even before his death. But after his death, he was especially revered because there was no one like him. The fact is, his life and his death inspired the revolution and our history would not have been the same without him.